Greetings. What can I do for you? Hey there. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Hi everyone, it's me again with another moose hunting video. Today our plan is to hunt near Cumberland Falls. But before we start hunting, let me provide some information on this location and what we can expect in terms of moose spawning. There are two spawn points in this location. Spawn point A spawns both genders of moose and spawn point B spawns only cow moose. The process of spawning and hunting in both points is simple, but the reality is that we do not have much control over which of these spawn points will spawn moose for us first and which one next. Since these two spawn points are too close to each other, we have no control over how to spawn moose at the point that we have not hunted yet. What I mean is to imagine that today we hunt a moose at point A and return after 72 hours to hunt the moose at point B. But there would be a possibility to spawn a moose at point A again because by now we know that when you hunt at a spawn point, the game will repopulate it after 72 hours. And there lies the problem. So the question is how to control the spawn at each point and how to solve this problem. The answer is simple. We need to hunt the moose at the second spawn point within 72 hours and before the first spawn point repopulate. Is this possible? Yes. Are there any issue that we need to be concerned about? Yes. There are a few NPC encounters that we need to be concerned about. Because surprisingly, there are a few NPC and non-NPC activities packed in this small area, which if active can cause trouble. If you are at the later stages of the game, you might have probably come across these events and have nothing to worry about. But if you haven't, or if like me you are in the early stages of the game, these issues will definitely prevent the spawn. Let's review these issues. The first of the NPC related issues is the camper on the opposite side of the spawn point. Easy, easy. The second one is the old Driscoll camp right next to the spawn point. Who's there? You come one step closer and we'll kill you dead. The third one, and to me the most intriguing one, is the bridge bushwhack. I find this encounter intriguing because you wouldn't know about it unless you go across the bridge. It is not like the other NPC encounters that you can see. There is nothing to indicate its presence unless you actually cross the bridge, which is unlikely since you approach the spawn point from Downs Ranch direction. It could be active while you are trying to spawn moose and you may not even realize that such activity is happening in the area. There are two other NPC activities in this area which I haven't formed a solid opinion about. One is the Mexican sharpshooter. Hey you, are you gonna give me the chance to redeem myself or what? I know I got you beat this time. 
and the other one is the camper with a horse. Why I say that I haven't formed a solid opinion about these two is that neither of these two seems to have a clear effect on the spawn, but I'm not certain about it because of the things I have seen. Look at this as an example. Also this one as another example. As you see, in both cases there was a moose spawn, but there were also times when I encountered these guys and there was not a moose spawn. Therefore, to avoid any potential problem, I recommend dealing with them whenever you encounter them instead of leaving the possibility of a moose spawn to chance. Lastly, Let's not overlook the one non-NPC related issue over which we have no control at all. The Wallace Station Moose. Especially since this moose's spawn point has the same optimum spawn time as the other two. As you remember, we hunted this moose way back at the beginning of our moose hunt. This spawn point has been repopulated long ago and is actively spawning moose. This has a 100% negative effect on our target spawn points. When you come here, you are practically next to this spawn point and your presence can trigger it to spawn. Easy. Yep. Depending on your game progression, your playing style, and the number of times you have visited this location, you may face any or all of these even at the beginning of the first hunt. Anyway, don't let this information intimidate you, because none of these issues are serious and can easily be remedied with a bit of preparation. For now, 
let's start the hunt and then I will show you how to deal with all of these issues. Despite these minor issues, the spawning and hunting process for both spawn points is pretty simple. Let's start the hunting process. We start by sleeping at night in horseshoe overlook. Wake up in the morning and leave the camp. Okay, my girl. If you get to meet this guy, you can choose to help or ignore him. It doesn't matter to the spawn as long as you don't spend too much time with him. Oh yes, praise the Lord! <laughs> Thank you. You must be my guardian angel. I hope I'll get a chance to repay you someday. <laughs> uh, I won't hold my breath. Make a fallback safe here. And proceed to the spawn location. If there is no moose, just do what I am doing now. At this point, we have no control over the spawn points and we don't know which one will spawn a moose for us, but that wouldn't make any difference at all. Mm -hmm. 
avoid looking at the spawn point for too long and be patient. From time to time, check the spawn points of Wallace Station on top of the hill. We want to make sure there is no moose there. And there is our first moose spawn at point B. But as I mentioned, it makes no difference to us. If the spawn moose is not a tree star, reload your fallback save and try till you get the moose you want. If you have not already, be sure to study and track the moose. Let's go, girl. Okay, then. It took us only 5 minutes from the time we made the fallback save. Ok, from this point we need to act quickly and spawn a moose within 72 hours at the other spawn point. If you have already dealt with the issues that I mentioned, you can go ahead and take a break for 48 hours and return here to hunt the second moose. But if you are in a similar situation as I am, follow along. From here we go to the trapper and sell the pelt. Take a look at it. Hey there, girl. Save the game and reload the same save file immediately. Then return to the spawn location. I aim to trigger either all or as many of the NPC events that I spoke about before in the shortest possible time. Make a fallback save here.
if you can't trigger any of the events by the time you get to this spot, reload your fallback save and try again till you trigger one of them. It doesn't matter which one is triggered. Once it is triggered, deal with it as quickly as possible. Then go to Mr. Down's ranch and make a save. Then immediately reload the same saved file and return to the spawn location. When you get here, Hopefully you have triggered another event. If not, reload and try again till you do it. Deal with it as quickly as possible. Easy, easy. How we gonna get him stopped? <laughs> These two are the most important ones. The fisherman camp can be triggered most reliably in the morning. So with that in mind, we go back to Horseshoe Overlook or wherever you prefer and sleep till the next morning. Again, go to Mr. Down's ranch and make a fallback save. Then proceed to the spawn location. I spent some time here trying to trigger the event but had no luck so I reloaded my last save.
deal with this guy too. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here now, or I'll make you leave. Yeah. Then go to Wallace Station and make a save. and reload the same save file immediately. Then go back to the spawn location. Yep. This guy has no significant effect on the spawn, but still deal with him gently if he is there. Then go to Wallace Station and make a save. and reload the same save file immediately. Then go back to the spawn location.
I tried to trigger the Mexican sharpshooter, but I couldn't. So I decided to kill some time and then went to Horseshoe Overlook and slept till the next morning. Then went to the usual place and made the fallback save. Okay there. Then proceeded to the spawn location. Keep in mind that this is 48 hours after we hunted the first moose. Here I wanted to make sure that Moose at Wallace Station has not spawned. And there was the Moose at spawn point A. But it was a cow and since I had already hunted a cow at point B, I wanted to hunt a bull. So I decided to reload and try again.
and there was the moose again. Easy, whoa! It took me about an hour in real life to hunt two moose in this location within 48 hours by taking advantage of the saving and reloading trick. In the next video, we will hunt at Lake Isabella, so prepare your warm clothes. With that, I wish you luck in your hunt and look forward to seeing you in the next video soon. Have a great day wherever you are.